No harm done. Well, not much anyway. And now, let's help you unhook yourself from the octopod. No, no. You just take it easy. Really, I can do it. Watch out, matey. Your hooks are digging in deeper. Just a little tentacle trouble, that's all. Are you sure you don't need some help? Hold your seahorses, I can do it. I'll just brace myself. And give it a good swirl. Yes! No! Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh no, Tunip and the vegetables are in there. Ah, they're sinking fast. We've no time to lose. Everybody, dive! It's too dark. I can't see the pod. I see it! I see it! You're pulling me poor. It's too dark down here to see anything. I have the biggest eyes in the ocean. And I can see just fine without light. Then let's use your squid vision. Where are they now? I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh-oh, down, go down. Everyone, dive. Oh, no, not that way, the other way. Bring the cups around. Hurry, they're heading for some sharp rocks. You've got one free tentacle. Reach out with it now and grab them if you can. All right, I think I've got it. I got it! Octonauts, pull up! Well done. Sometimes a spare tentacle really comes in handy. I'm great at grabbing, but I have a hard time letting go. I guess I could use some help after all. Operation Untangle Tentacles begins now. all your tentacles are back where they belong, it's time to return one of ours. Tweak? Okay, big guy. Bring up the pod. That's it. Up a little more. Down a little. A little more. Now to your left. <laughs> uh, to your other left. Got it! Super, super! Good work, everyone. All right, Cap. I'll have him out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. He's real stuck. That ice is just too thick. We're not giving up on you, Boris! Octonauts, we've tried the guts, but we need something even stronger to break through this ice. And we need it now! Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch. Good idea, but it would take too long. Hmm. How about blasting it with a sonic slicer? The ice is too thick for that. I've got an old pirate cannon under me bed. But I'm all out of cannonballs. But there were! That's it! The bowhead whales! Tough enough to smash through just about anything! Good thinking, Tulip. Now all we have to do is find our new bowhead whale friends again. Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs! <laughs> Try it louder, Dashy. We don't have much time. Super, 
Howdy, y'all! We need your help. Three narwhals are trapped in the ice and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashie. How much longer? Look! <laughs> something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. You see, you can do it. Yes, I can do it. I can do it. I... Would you mind opening your mouth? I can do it. I can do it. Oh, who am I fooling? Yeah. Help! I saw a giant clam fell to the bottom of the sea. <gasps> Dive down to help us. I... I'm sorry. I want to help Peso, but I just can't do it. It's all right. We'll find him. <gasps> Peso's medical bag. Look, the clam. Uh, Quasi, I think you mean clowns. Shiver me whiskers. We'll have to search shell by shell. Peso? 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 Ah! Whoa! Try the X-ray viewer. Clam. Clam. Another clam. I can do it. I can't do it! I can't do it! This day is for Peso! Clam, clam, peso, clam, clam, peso! Quasi? Are you alright, peso? Well, it's getting a bit cosy. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> We've got to get out of here before we're all clam sandwiches. It's too heavy. We need a... Whale. What? Simon? Whoa! I did it! I did it! I dived! I knew you could do it! Yeah, that's great, but we've still got to save... Peso! Quasi to Octopod. Come here, me hearties. Ah, me radio's broken. But I've still got a Pirate King sword to find. Okay, now. Where's that X that marks the spot? That warm water again. Yow! A flying sword. Yow! No telling where more of these magical flying swords might be lurking. Here I am! No, over here! No, down here, matey! Arr, two down, one to go! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. So 
something tells me that the X that marks the spot is right behind this now! Aha! The last one! Stand aside, you scurvy sword! Magic ye may be, but quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. Quasi! <gasps> Look! Quasi! <gasps> it's not Quasi! We've been chasing a figurehead! One that could only have come off a pirate ship! But then, where's Quasi? Ha <laughs> ha! Outran him! <laughs> so, it's a duel you're wanting, is it? Then it's a duel ye shall have! Hey, you're a swordfish! <laughs> of course I'm a swordfish! What did you think I was? A magic flying sword? <laughs> the only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean! So that was you! The light of the pirate moon made it look like it! Do I care what it looked like? No! What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground and we want you gone! No. I don't want your food, matey! I want the sword of the pirate king! And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates! The lightning's getting closer. We need to get these manatees to safety fast. Hello, sir. You'll go to the Gub D with Dashie. Cool. Ma'am, hi there. You'll go to the Gub E with Peso. All right. Sir, Quasi here will be your driver on the Gub X. Hi. Climb aboard, matey. Hop on top. Oh, smooth ride, man. I think that's all we can fit. That's okay. I'll wait here. You can get me on the next trip. Don't worry. We'll be right back. Come on, mateys. To the octopod. Shiny. 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 Whoa! Uh oh. Shiny thing! Looks like there's only one way out of this. Captain, almost all the manatees are safe inside the octopod. Only one left. Good work! Ah, peso! The lightning is now right over the last manatee. Oh dear. Captain, I don't know if we can get her back to the octopod in time. Whoa! I know. It's serious. It's not too late to save her, is it? <sighs> yes! It is! No! <laughs> I mean, we'll rescue the last manatee. Bring the Gup D and the Gup C to the surface and call me when you get there. The air tank is almost empty. I won't be able to breathe down here much longer. Oh no! We're coming for you! We manatees don't usually say this, but hurry, man! Captain, we've arrived at the surface. Good. Now flip the Gupti over and open the windscreen. This will create an air pocket so the manatee can breathe. Then tow it deep underwater, away from the lightning. Aye, Captain. I've got to get my paw out of this clam before I run out of air. Ah. 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 Can you breathe all right in there? Oh, yeah. What 
happened? He might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octahatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. The croc's attached to the octopod cap. He's as snug as a bug. A really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Hey, sir. Stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashing, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. Hot. And set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain, it's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Which means we need to get him up to the surface fast. Dashi, activate steering wheel. How's our patient doing, Peso? He seems fine. Let me get a bit closer. <laughs> he just tried to chomp me. Don't worry, Peso. Saltwater crocodiles slap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot. It helps them cool off. <sighs> Yee-haw! Thanks for your help. And now I've got to catch up with those sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys. And I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. <laughs> hey, bitch! Could you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardines from getting away? Of course! Come on, fellas! Bubble net! some of these bubbles, then let out a nice big burp, like this. Uh. Oh, uh. <laughs> it worked! Mickey! Sorry I gave you a tummy ache. I feel much better. Thanks. Thank you, humpback whales. No problem. Always enjoy making a bubble net. 
We'll just be on our way now, but uh, will you look after him? He, he has a habit of uh, crashing into things. <laughs> yes, I know. Yo, oh. well, Captain. Now that I've got me key back, we finally get to see what's inside Whitebeard's treasure chest. <gasps> Tis the legendary flying snowballs of Whitebeard. And look, it's a note from Whitebeard himself. It says, whoever finds this treasure is worthy to use it. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone all right? Ha! Thanks for saving my seal skin barnacles. But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to... A little hole in the sand. Exactly. This little hole was made by a big fish with a pointy nose. Now I'm starting to get that picture. The big fish with a pointy nose takes a dive down towards the sea floor. But he's not alone. Somewhere along the way, he picks up a little fish. Now we've got a little fish stuck to a big fish with his nose stuck in the sand. The big fish breaks free, but the little fish is still stuck to him. And they both went... That away! Better follow them before the trail goes cold. Hey, so go with Harry. We'll catch up in the guppe. Remember, we're on the lookout for a big pointy-nosed fish. With Nora attached. Yeah, they definitely came this way. We're close, Peso. Very close. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Fine. Just running out of air. Harbour seals have to go up to breathe every 30 minutes. Hold on, I'll just grab a quick breath. Oh, oh. oh no, snapping shrimp! Yeah. What was that? Let's make sure Peso and Harry are all right. Snapping shrimp. They make those loud snaps to defend themselves. Shiver me whiskers! They've knocked out Harry and Peso! Attention, snapping shrimp! We are the Octonauts, and we're not out to harm you. Would you please stop snapping so we can help our friends? Oh, sorry. We always snip first, ask questions later, you know. All right, everybody. Stop snipping. Are you all right, Peso? Oh, I'm fine. But where's Harry? He was knocked out by those snapping shrimp, just like you. Oh, no. He's okay, but he needs air right away. Captain, we need to get him up to the surface to breathe. Understood. Peso, you pull. Quasi, we'll push. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel ready to solve this case. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, chaps! <laughs> Quasi, over here. Oh, oh, ouch. This does me feel too good. Some slippery ointment should help slide his hammerhead out. Good idea. Everyone else, grab a fin. Don't worry. We'll have you out and swimming in no time. On my count, everyone pull. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, guys, look behind me. Oh, fascinating! Hammerhead's eyes allow them to see what's behind them, like that... Shark! <gasps> this should give him something to chew on! Hey, those things don't taste too good, do they? I'm sure you'd taste a lot better! <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, bet you can't catch me! Peso, follow me and bring your friend. Quasi, keep that shark busy. 
Over here, you scurvy shark! Hey! Oh! Ooh, where'd they go? Here! We've got something tasty for ya! <laughs> now! <laughs> Everyone, get back! What's the big idea? He was alone! Why? What's happening? Uh-oh! Hey! Well, I think he got the point. That was so cool. Well done, everyone. 